I welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to appreciate every one of you that is following this broadcast. I will still have to crave your indulgence to appeal to you to keep praying for this nation. Watch and pray. Pray for our leaders. Pray for those in authority. Pray for our governors. Pray for the president. Pray for the nation. This is our Jerusalem. We have to say we should pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Don't be weary in doing what is right. Don't be weary in doing good. We'll keep praying. We'll keep watching. we we'll keep praying. I want to assure you that we'll get to the new Nigeria. I want to appreciate every one of you that are following this broadcast. As you keep praying, keep watching, by God's grace, God is using this platform to tell us events of things that will come, things that will happen. We've talked about the election in the Ocean State. By the grace of God, it came to pass. Adilike won. We talked about there will be terrorist attack in Abuja. We saw it. We saw the alert that happened recently also. And the main one is coming. But I told you, the Lord said this year there shall be no terrorist attack in Abuja. We've said it about the PDP, that PDP presidential ambition will crash land a month before the election. It will be visible. It will come to pass. By the grace of God, we are seeing it. We've said it that Tunumbu will be strong to go through the campaign. You will see it. It will, it, will, it will go through all the campaign. It will not die. Those of you saying it will die, it will die. It's a lie. Not going to die. God is going to preserve him. But there will be a fall. The same God said he is going to fall after the election. He's going to fall. All the wars around him are going to fall. The political war, financial war, health war, health is wealth. Health is very important. He's going to fall. That tells you that you run to God. Because God is the solution giver. If my people call by my name, that turn away from their wicked ways. Pray and seek my face. What did the Lord said? Say, I will heal their land. So many prophecies have gone forth. We've talked about foreign prophecy. Where we where I tell you that Putin is going to be put pulled down. We said it that America and UK will form alliance with um, Ukraine. We see it came to pass. We said it that Putin would put that. We said that Ukraine is going to capture all the areas that Putin took before. And these things are going to come to pass. We see them coming to pass gradually. You will see very soon that Putin will be disgraced, will be brought down. So many things. What can we count? There are so many. So many on this platform. We've said it that Kanu will not be uh, released unconditionally, that the government, the federal government, is going to release him based on condition. If they are going to release him, it's going to be based on condition. And I told you that the person that God has appointed for to release Kanu unconditionally and free him, he can go to anywhere, he can go to America, he can go to Europe is P2B, and these things are going to come to pass. We've said it that PDP will suffocate Wiki, and if he goes to APC, he will be downgraded. And an additional prophecy came that he will be humiliated. But we have not. We have been praying. I've prayed for him. I give him the last option, and this. Not quite long, another message has come again for Wiki. And that's the message I've given to you today. The Lord said that PDP will sanction. Hear the word of the Lord. PDP will sanction and suspend Wiki if he remains in PDP. 
Hear the condition because some they listen to the prophecy, they don't listen, finish, and then they the one they pick, they will now begin to talk. PDP is going to sanction and suspend Wiki if he remains in PDP. And also the federal government is going to intervene into Wiki's matter. Federal government is going to intervene if into wicked matter if this thing continue like this because of what I have seen is based on what I have seen and the message that the Lord has given to me. First and foremost, I would like you to know that the hand of God, the hand of the Almighty God, the I am that I am, is against Abupa Atiku and Atiku Abubakar going for presidency. So whenever the hand of God is supposed to be like this, and the hand is like this, you know that there's a problem. Secondly, I want you to know that the hand of God is also against wicked, against wicked remaining in PDP. Remaining in PDP. I told you that God has made a way for him to do what? To an open door for him to go to obedience party. Now let's go back to the first one. That the hand of God is, up, is against article. Let me read from the scripture. When it comes to the hand of God, you don't play with it. I want to ask, I want to tell you wherever you are. If the hand of God is against you, my brother, go and pray for mercy. God is not a God you toy with. Our God is a God of judgment. When God is against you, my brother, go and pray. When God was against uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh feel that ah, I can do what I've been doing before. Uh, my brother, he could not continue. Pharaoh, Pharaoh lost the first son. That is how our God is. Our God is a God of judgment. Let me read from here, yeah, Genesis chapter 46, 49, sorry, verse 24. But is born about, let me, let me alight it well. Not seeing well. Okay, yeah, it's clear now for me to read. But is born about in strength, and the arm of his hand were made strong by the hand of the mighty God of Jacob. From whence is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. So we see there that the hand of him was made strong by the hand of the Almighty God. When God's hand is on your side, when God's hand is signaling that it is for you, you will see that your hand, you too, will be strong. But when God's hand is against you, you will become weak. You know, I told you that the hand of God is against Atiku Abubakar becoming the president of Nigeria. And one of the one of the word of knowledge that the Lord gave to us, or the Lord gave to me, is the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 28. You see, because they did not retain the knowledge of God in their heart, he gave them over to the reprobate mind. That's what the Lord told me. And the Lord told me that it's going to harden the heart of this political giant. One of the political giants is A.A. Atiku Abubakar. He said it's going to harden his heart. So don't blame him when he's not able to discern. I said, okay, let this thing happen. Okay, let you resign or let this one happen or let, uh, let me go and beg weekend or let me go directly or let you resign. Are you resigned? Which is the right thing? Because kindly speaking, if we are to go by law, what we is fighting for is right. But you see, this is the act of God. This is the act of God. When God wants to perform miracle, He will, he will allow confusion in the camp of the wicked. He will allow confusion in the camp of those that are enemy to the nation. There are people that God is against, and then God permits confusion. 
Now, confusion, the devil is the author of confusion. But God permit confusion in PDP. That is an act of God. That is how God works. When God wanted to give Israel victory over the Moabites and other enemies around them, God made them to lay ambush on themselves and they begin to fight themselves. They begin to fight themselves. God said it to me that the glory of PDP is has been given to P2B. So for P2B to win, God will allow them to scatter themselves. The scattering is the mighty invisible hand of the almighty God. It is, it is the mightier than all. He has the power to support whoever he wants. He has the power to say no to whoever he does not want. This act is the act of God. So when we were giving counsel to Governor Yeson Wiki, we said that God has made a way for him to move to Labour Party. But you see, the Lord has come to tell me that whether he move or he does not move, he will work for obedience. Obedience is the person he will work for. So God knows the way to through the Red Sea. You know, when we see Red Sea and we say, ah, this Red Sea, how do we cross it? He has the way through the Red Sea. God has said it that he himself, that if Wilson Wiki remains in PDP, he will be suffocated. And one of the ways to suffocate him is they are going to begin to lay sanction on him. They will not have aid way because it is the hand of the Lord that is against them. There is no way they can have aid way. Whether they like it, let them continue from today to tomorrow. There is no aid way. If they want to appease him, that means something, something on that side wants to happen. Which I will not want to speak on this platform. So they are going to suffocate him by laying sanction. Very soon we are going to see sanction that will be laid on weekend. And the second thing they are going to do, they are going to suspend him. Now let me tell you the revelation that God gave to me. I saw in a vision where they were um, a particular um, PDP strong man was fighting Wiki and the, the, the vice, the person that is the vice candidate, vice president candidate, Okowa, joined the person and they start to fight. In fact, let me just go ahead and say, Saraki was having a battle with Wiki as they were battling. Okowa joined and they beat Wiki in that, in that battle, in that fight. They beat him, they tore his cloth, they fall him on the ground and they drove him away. One other man joined Wiki, it was the same thing that happened. It was a very painful, sad vision. So this vision is telling me that what the Lord is explaining to me is that they are going to they are going to fight him. They are going, you are going to see a scenario where PDP will begin to fight weekend. PDP itself, the chairman, the executive, everyone will begin to fight him. They were going to begin to fight him by laying sanctions. There are going to be sanctions on him. And these sanctions. If, if Wiki does not stop, it's going to result to what we call suspension. Wiki will be suspended. Now, they are suspending him because it, before it, be, be, by the time the, 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 the suffocation has reached intense, by the time the battle reached intense, because the Lord said that the crisis will deepen. The crisis will deepen. Now, it is the act of the Lord because God has said it. He said, judgment is coming upon politicians. One of the ways to start judgment is for them to begin to fight themselves. But in the, in, the, in the midst of fighting themselves, we pray for them that they don't kill themselves. That's why you see me on this platform praying. Am I do, don't I have what to do with my time? We pray because we have seen certain things. And it is not the will of God that any should die, but that do all should come to repentance. Should come to repentance. So the crisis is going to deepen. There is going to be a deepen crisis. They will begin the, the crisis we are seeing. We are seeing crisis that more deepen crisis is going to emanate. You are going to see it. The crisis are going to deepen, thinking that ah, it has reached the apex. It has not reached the apex. It is the hand of God. God's hand is against uh, Wiki in PDP. God's hand is against uh, 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 Atiku becoming president. So these things is is the act of God. The act of God 
God himself is not the originator of confusion, but God uses confusion to control people, to bring people closer to him. So you are going to see a scenario where as Wike is going to sue, because he has already sued uh, some people, he's going to be suing PDP. PDP also will be suing Wike. We are going to see them going to court anytime from now. So expect anytime from now that PDP is going to sue Wike. See, Wike have gone to sue some. I know that PDP now is going to sue Wike. They will begin to go to court. They will begin to go to court. This crisis will begin to continue. Why? Because it is the act of God. Some people don't understand when they say act of God. When they say act of God, God will add in the act of this political giant. Even the act of wicked will be adding. But when he listens to the word of knowledge which we are given, and he says, oh God, help me, then he can have redemption. Redemption can come to his mind for him to act and go to obedience. God has made a way. God has already made a way. God does not allow confusion without allowing solution. He allowed the confusion he is the act of God, and he has made a way for Wiki to move. We have said it, we have said it, we have said it. I've said it to a point where I said, why am I still getting message on this matter? Now, the solution that the Lord gave me is that Wiki should be born again. Wiki should be born again. When we say born again, that doesn't mean he's not a Christian. But we are talking of a situation where he comes to Jesus. He should go back to Calvary. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the one that can fight your battle. You cannot fight this battle. This battle is the Lord. God said he is the one that will fight the battle for him. He is the one that is going to fight the battle. The battle is the Lord. The battle is the Lord. When Joshua they were faced with battle, it was the Lord that fought for them. This is not a matter of common sense. Law. This is above law. It's an issue that is spiritual. The hand of the Almighty is against the politicians. And God has permitted these things to happen. Because why God is not happy with PDP was that the Lord originally told me that this issue of rotation and zoning, the APC will fail. But APC is the one in the government. I was expecting the Lord to tell me that in PDP, they will allow zoning and all that. But I saw that these things were not, was not allowed. They ought to pick someone from southeast, but they fail. And that person was P2B that God brought out. As God brought them out, they are going to have problems. This is natural. This is spiritual. This is supernatural laws. These laws are powerfully holding because the hand of the Lord is upon the nation. God himself in his supernatural power is going to uphold this nation and prevent it from falling. The nation is at the verge of collapsing. Things are getting out of hand. The inflation is on the high side. People are suffering. And the only way God can do it is to cause confusion, allow those confusion in their midst to scatter them and make them to know and to know that only him has the power and god is telling me to tell them that they should come to jesus is the solution is the so is the one that can give them peace jesus is the prince of peace jesus is the prince of peace the time has come for for our people to come to god and repent from all this there evil ways. May God help in Jesus' name. So, the Lord said that it will be sanctioned. So, if he continue to remain in PDP, the suffocation which I have said in earlier on, that the Lord told me, the Lord said that suffocation involved being sanctioned. And then after being sanctioned, it will be suspended. After being suspended, he is going to have deeper crisis with PDP. There is a deeper crisis where they will sue him, he will sue them. And then he, the federal government is going to intervene into weakest matter. Because there is a vision that the Lord showed me recently and I was shocked. I don't want to go into the vision. I may say it later. This vision that the Lord showed me, I was shocked. 
federal government, I will just put it on that note. Federal government is going to intervene into this matter. You will see what has what is the business of federal government with wicked matter. You will see it. You will see it. This is not this is I'm not just talking. No. I'm not just talking. You will see it. Federal government of Buhari is going to intervene into this matter. You will see it. Federal government of Buhari is going to intervene into this matter. Because, because the Lord has hardened their heart. It is, the, it is the act of God. God is the one that... The Bible told us that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. So who is that person that God cannot harden the heart? God has hardened the heart. Why? Because it's time for him to judge. I told you that the blood... I saw blood dripping from the sky. And this is the blood of the masses. And the Lord said this is the cry. Sorry, he said this is the cry of the masses. Those cry has reached heaven... And the Lord is angry with the politicians. And one of the ways to punish them, one of the ways to judge them, is to scatter them to fight each other. And what you are seeing is a scenario of what God has already programmed. It is the act of God. So when I was giving counsel, the counsel of the Lord shall stand. That we can should move. That the Lord has opened the door of breakthrough. To obedience. I prayed for him last time. I prayed. I took time, and I know that God will save his life because we are I'm praying for God to save his life. I'm praying for God to save his life. The revelation I gave months ago, some months ago, I said it that I saw the governor, yes, some weekend, and governor Tom. They were in a place, and when they were there, there's a wind. The wind was blowing, and it was a it was a wind with heat. And the, the heat hit them up. And I saw house collapse. And immediately I, I said it. I said, I said, if yes on Wiki remain in PDP, that PDP will not win the governorship election in River State. You will see it is going to come to pass. So it's going to come to pass. It collapsed. And the Lord told me, he said, that building that collapsed is PDP. And later I see yes on Wiki and Autumn. They went to meet P2B. Whether they like it or not, they are obedient. Whether they decamp or they don't decamp, I don't care. All I know, sorry to use the word I don't care. All I know is that the Lord has given me the word. The Lord has given me the word. It is time for people to come to Christ. Come to know Jesus. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. When Jesus comes into your life, he fights your battle. The Lord is going to fight for you some wicked because what he's fighting for is a just cause. In the separation of powers, or let me let me let me not go into separation of powers. In the constitution of PDP, they have constitution which they follow, and in that constitution, all the uh, geopolitical zones should be fully represented. So, and that is what he's saying. He's talking about fairness, uh, uh, fairness, eh? equity. And justice. That's what we're fighting for. There should be equality. There should be fairness. But this thing is not the end. God allow it. It's the act of God. Why did I use the word? I used the word that Joseph was Joseph was betrayed. It was also the act of God. God permitted so that he can take Joseph to Egypt and make him prime minister. So a better fortune has been opened for him, but we keep praying that may God open his eyes. And God has given me a solution. Pray that God will help. The Lord has given me this word again. This time. That we can, will be sanctioned. And suspended. If he remains in PDP. And the Lord went further to tell me. That federal government we intervene into we case matter. May God help us. May God help us. We are praying for a new Nigeria. It will surely come to pass. In Jesus' name, God will bring it to pass. Thank you for listening. Keep watching. Uh, keep, keep praying for this nation. God bless you as you watch and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.